this is Dr. Paul. This is Dr. Paul once again. Thank you very much for tuning to our channel today. This evening I want to discuss a few minutes about Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Very, very, very important topic for USMLE examination. Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, let us say RMSF for the sake of brevity. RMSF is an acute febrile tick-borne illness caused by rickettsia rickettsia. Although it has been reported in uh, throughout United States of America, it is most common in the southern Atlantic region and south central states and in Oklahoma. So this disease is most commonly seen in southern Atlantic region in the states like Delaware, Washington DC, Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Atlanta. These states come under southern Atlantic region and they have highest incidence of this disease and also Oklahoma. Now what is the season? This disease most commonly seen in warm months when the ticks are most active. They go around and uh, attacking people. So this disease is most common in warm months like uh, starting in April until September. And 80% of patients have a history of tick bite. So tick bite history is a classic sign but that's not seen in every patient. Now let us go to the symptoms and signs. There are three symptoms that's why we say it's a classic triad. The triad is fever, headache and rash. So fever, headache and rash. And almost every patient complain of uh, starting with headache accompanied by muscle pains that's, uh, that, that's uh, the technical term myalgia and uh, malaise and uh, loss of appetite, weakness. Those symptoms come. And some of the GI complaints like nausea, vomiting and abdominal pain are classically seen in children. Now the rash of RMSF, this is a very very important point. It starts as maculopapular exanthem on the ankles and wrists and progresses toward the body. So it starts in ankles and wrists and it progresses centrally. That's why we call it as a centripetal rash. And what has been started as a maculopapular rash ultimately ends up as pericale rash. And some of the patients also develop neuropsychiatric symptoms like uh, uh, confusion and uh, delirium and some even goes into coma. So this is a disease that has to be treated and untreated cases may result in death. Coming to laboratory findings, thrombocytopenia is typical that is uh, low blood platelets, then hyponatremia that is low sodium with elevated transaminases and also elevated serum creatinine and this is an important point because elevated serum creatinine is associated with increasing mortality. We also use IFA testing for IgG and IgM to confirm the diagnosis but most commonly based on clinical symptoms we start the treatment. Now treatment Treatment must begin on clinical grounds and uh, it is most effective when we begin between 3 to 5 days of illness. The treatment of choice is doxycycline. That's a very, very important part. The treatment of choice for RMSF is doxycycline. In the past we have used chloramphenicol and even now we use chloramphenicol oral or IV medication when we treat neurologic uh, symptoms of RMSF but most commonly we can use doxycycline. In fact, even though tetracyclines have been associated with staining of teeth in younger children, 
both American Association of Pediatrics and the Center for Disease Control both recommend doxycycline even for children younger than age 9. Now, disposition. Patients with uh, neurologic symptoms and vomiting, elevated creatinine or unstable vital signs, they should be admitted and treated in hospital. Otherwise, we treat these patients outpatient. Prognosis. Prognosis depends on what are the symptoms the patient has developed. And if the patient develops certain neurologic symptoms like confusional state, and coma and focal neurologic abnormalities. We need to examine the CSF. It usually shows mild mononuclear pleocytosis. In those cases, patients should be treated with chloramphenicol orally or intravenously or doxycycline orally or intravenously for seven days. And some of the neurologic residue may last forever. So that's basically about RMSF. Just remember about uh, the symptoms and signs, the rash, how it starts on wrists and ankles and then spreads centrally and uh, the treatment, doxycycline, those are the most important points. As always, thank you very much. Please feel free to visit us at www.usmlevideos.net and uh, uh, post your comments. And if you feel, if I left anything uh, from the discussion, please feel free to post your comments and uh, please send me your comments also. Thank you very much. All the best to you in your examination. Thank you very much.